Peace, greetings, namaste. 20 days, 20 days till I'm living out my car. Why would I wanna do that? Look at this. Why would I wanna do that? Got a whole condo to myself. I just told my landlord that I'm gonna be nine days late paying rent. Cause I'm paying two bedrooms all by myself. All the utilities, all by myself. And he was okay with that. He was like, all right, cool, bet. Just find some new tenants and you'll get your security deposit back. So why would I want to leave <laughs> all of this? Good question. Because none of this is truly worthwhile. Why not save $1,150 a month plus like $170 on utilities? So like looking at that, we're, we're talking about $1,300 right now that you could possibly be saving. On top of the fact that there's just so much extra room, so much extra stuff I could use, but I'm a minimalist. I don't need it. So in 20 days, I'm giving all that up. 20 days, I'm gonna liberate myself because in a few months, I'm talking about like September or so, I should have about six to $10,000 saved up. And I've seen that it could have happened the past whole year that I've worked to end 2016 with absolutely nothing, mind you. Nothing saved, none. I saw that I could have been saving, but I bought so much material. I bought so many things. Tried to fill up condo. It didn't work. Actually seems like I was just wasting a lot more than money. Wasting time, wasting energy, wasting effort. But new year, new me. We've heard it, we've been hearing that. All, all 2017, but that's what's really about to go down. So come September, when I am in much warmer climates, climates so warm that this melanated skin might start to melt, and I'm chilling on six to ten thousand dollars, completely restored 2011 Toyota Camry, probably traded it in for a Prius by then. I think it might be one of the greatest things I've ever done because uh, I love beach weather and um, jobs are everywhere. I really feel that uh, you should just do what you want to do. Like I've always loved, uh, always loved traveling. I've always loved just being out in nature, especially now being able to practice spiritually out in nature whenever I want and still serve people, you know, still volunteer, still um, do <clears throat> nature projects, like work on trails and all that. Like all that's still possible. But it's like, why should you have to chain yourself to leases, to contracts, to um, loans, student loans, credit payments? All that is unnecessary, you know, especially chaining yourself to material, especially chaining yourself to someone who's chained to all that stuff. So you indirectly are chained to all of that. How sad is that? So this channel and these videos are really important because uh, I've tried. I've tried to research to see what I could do. You know, and I really don't feel comfortable with what people have offered. You know, a lot of RV, this and that, you know, car, uh, truck, campers, this and that. But um, there's probably a lot more people who do not have an RV and who do not have a truck camper. Even though that's all great, but you know, you, we gotta be real. <clears throat> that's what I'm here to do. And uh, so far, so good. The preparation phase is uh, as important as the actual transition, so. Um, that's why I wanted to do daily vlogs of this preparation phase. And today, um, nothing really that special. Just getting my car tomorrow and working on Friday. So um, I'm just really mentally chilling out until then. I've done so much just in the past uh, nine days that I have not been able to work. I'm just going to use this last day probably to do some sanitizing of the bathrooms and the kitchen. So that's one last thing I gotta think of. If you wanna share this to anyone you might think will find this enjoyable, this is gonna be daily. I think this is gonna be an epic series, um, personally. Um, I've done a lot of traveling in, in the past, you know, California, Oregon, Washington, back and forth, you know what I mean? I just didn't have, I didn't have a camera, I didn't have the, the thought to, to capture it all, you know? Um, so I'm like, <laughs> If there's going to be any adventure I'm going to capture, it's definitely going to be this one. So um, once again, thank you to all my new subscribers. That means a lot. You know, everyone who's subscribing, tuning in every day to watch this. Uh, thanks a lot. I'll 
reply to as many comments as possible. I usually subscribe to whoever comments. Yeah, thanks for everything. And I will see you tomorrow when I get my car back. Peace, namaste.